Hi, I'm Joshua D. Ramos, VSEC3 from Lucena City. So what are we going to answer is problem 9.66. For the circuit and the year 9.73, calculate ZT and VAB. So here is our diagram for our circuit. So we have um, an input voltage of 60 at 90 degree volts. We have resistor 20 ohms and 40 ohms capacitor at negative J5 ohms and our inductor at J10 ohms. So the first question is to find the total impedance. So to find the total impedance, we need to make this part a series. And parallel, parallel it to this part. And if we're going to calculate it, then mode 2 complex, we are just going to get its product over sum. We will get um, 14.12 at an angle of negative 4.76 degree ohms. So this is our total evidence. So next is to solve for the voltage at AB. So to solve that, we need to make a mesh at this part. So you can see we make a mesh here. And to do that, by applying mesh analysis, we will be able to know that EAB is equal to J10 minus 20 ohms. So if we have I here, it will be distributed as an I1. And here at an I2. So our multiplier for this is I2, and here is I1. So this is a combination of nodal analysis and mesh analysis. So next is the nodal analysis. We apply nodal analysis. We know that IT is equals to I1 plus I2. So this is a technique of combination of mesh and nodal analysis. So we all know that I1 is equals to V over R, where our voltage is at 60 of 90 degree over the elements here. So we have 20 minus G5 plus I equals V over R again. So we only have voltage here is 60 of 90 degree all over J10. Plus 14. So why we use this 60 of 90 degrees? Because we all know that the voltages here are parallel. At this part, we have this to find voltage AB, we need to sum I1 or the current one and I2 or the current two. So from this, we will be able to solve the problem and solve for IT by having our calculator. Um, it is just simple. We um, just need to know some calculator techniques and how to um, do this kind of complex problem. So here at rectangular form, we have negative 0 0.25 plus 4.24. So we have IT is equals to negative 0 0.25 plus 4.24 J. And here. And to convert it into polar form, 4.25 at an angle of 94.76 degree ampere. 
So going back to mesh analysis, we will now substitute the corresponding values for I1 and I2. This V in B is equals to J 10 ohms times our I2, which is this part. minus 20 I1, which is this part, okay, and proceeding, so we will get a polar form of negative 52.94 I, or negative J, 52.94 volts. So to convert it into polar form, we will get we will get 52.94 at an angle of 90 degrees. So as you can see here. So notice that this is an S principal argument. And if you want to convert it into another form, we can use V A B equals to 52.94 at the 270 degree volts. Since we can locate negative 90 here, and if we use the angle measurement, this is 90 degree, this is 180 degree, and this is 270 degree. So therefore, we can use this as the measure of voltage at 80. So that's it. Thank you for watching.